is Bitcoin right now already in a bear market or will we continue to trade here into higher levels in the next coming days? That is something that I want to talk about and I found something really interesting in the charts that I don't want to withhold from you guys. So, And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and also activate the notification bell so that you will not miss out on these important Bitcoin updates and when I find here really, really interesting things on the Bitcoin chart. So, And without any further ado, <clears throat> let me get here straight into the Bitcoin chart. And um, let me again in the comments know if you think that I'm actually correct or if you think that, for example, yeah, let me just know what, what you think. Do we go now in the bear market? Is it all over and we see another one year downtrend or will we turn around here regardless of what I'm saying in this video? Let me know. So here right now on the Bitcoin chart, I told you yesterday that I was expecting or uh, seeing the potential that we could come down all the way to the bottom of this falling wedge here. So that is exactly what happened here yes, um, now in the last couple of hours that we went all the way down there <coughs> and touched here the bottom of it. From there we got now uh, a small bounce here back to the upside. So and that was expected and anticipated if we get uh, to this bottom because here around the $40,000, $41,000 level is massive support from this area here, from there, <clears throat> from here. So basically every time when we flipped it, <clears throat> um, we were uh, creating their substantial historical um, yeah, support or resistance. So and now we have tested this as support and got a bounce from there, which is obviously <clears throat> exactly what we wanted to see. And also here on the stochastic RSI, is exactly happening what I mentioned yesterday. So we are now at a 0% level and we see now here already a small turnaround. So with today's um, daily candle kind of close, we should see tomorrow a further upwards move. But here comes my but. I would like to see this actually more on Sunday to avoid a CME gap. So because it's Friday, it's the weekend. So and um, yeah, we know that then the traditional markets are closed and we would then create on the CME market a gap. So I would like to avoid a gap all the way down here in these levels. So um, in the best case scenario, we will go here another two days sideways and then see the move here to the upside also based on the stochastic RSI on this daily chart. So then I want to go here quick also in the four hourly chart. So we could, as I said here, over the next coming hours, come back up here and test the former support box, which is now resistance. That's why I marked it here again in red. We could come up here and test this. And um, yeah, then we would actually find out if we would get a rejection from there or if we break back into this. So right now, um, I, I'm not sure if I would actually open a trade here. So I have to see also stochastic on the four hours. No, actually I would open a trade here. So once we are breaking 42,000, let's say $500, there I would personally open a, a position to trade this here to the resistance of $44,000 and there take my first profits. And um, yeah, then just see and wait if we actually break through this and let the trade run or if we get rejected, then I can close it. So it would be then still in a nice profit with the rest of the amount that I would um, keep open in this position. So you can see we are just um, yeah around $100 away from it. So um, yeah, so that, uh, there you go. There you have a possibility to trade. I don't believe that we will here turn around and test this here heavily again, because here on the four hourly chart, we pointing up the daily is about uh, to uh, point up on the sarcastic RSI. So the, the momentum is back to the upside. I think that might have been the absolute low point here for the next coming weeks and um, that we will not see this kind of price here in the near future anytime soon again. So now I want to show you the proof that I was talking about that um, that now my case that I believe that um, we will continue to go here to the upside and not in a bear market. So when we're looking back here, so here we created the low, the, the recent lower low point for this whole upwards move here. So and now with this weekly candle right now, we are creating a higher low. So which is obviously bullish and um, confirming if we close, close this uh, weekly candle that way, 
that we are still here <clears throat> in an upwards trend. As long as this trend line holds, we are still in an upwards trend. So obviously, um, this trend line has maybe to be adjusted depending on how low we are going. But you can see here, um, I don't believe that we come back here to like thirty-two, thirty-three thousand dollars um yeah i just don't believe that and also we have here this downwards sloping trend line so where the price is right now still holding support on so and um yeah i i believe we will not get any lower than this so then um we should also not forget guys the macroeconomic factors actually there that are happening right now in the world they have obviously influenced the bitcoin price and that's uh, that was the only reason why we have seen here this substantial move here to the downside so and that is because the federal reserve announced that they just stopped printing and that scares a lot of people now because they know if they stop printing we will get into um a depression so and that means that um, everything will lose value against the US dollar. So uh, because the US dollar is um, is just going, yeah, just falling like a rock. So and that has spooked all markets. And that was the reason why also the crypto market was affected from this. And we saw here this move here to uh, to the downside in the last couple of days in Bitcoin. But this is just a short term symptom and let me make my case here why i think that is actually good for for bitcoin in the long run so <clears throat> now people understand the dollar will lose value because they um the federal reserve stops printing to to keep everybody afloat so and because uh, they stop printing um and the people are looking for assets where they can actually now store their value so and what is right now the easiest asset and the most proven one to store your uh, to value it is bitcoin gold and real estate so but the easiest one to liquidate is bitcoin you cannot travel with a house you cannot travel with 10 kilos of gold you know so but with bitcoin it's not a problem so and that's why i believe in the long term the more and more people are now understanding that bitcoin is an amazing store of value the more people um, from the retail market and from the institutional side will actually now get um, heavily into crypto and this that will fuel the, um, the 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 upcoming bull run which will take us into six figures for bitcoin this year mark my words i believe this is going to happen this year so and just in case guys i i um, almost forgot if you have not um, participated in the Casta IEO or you were left behind or you forgot it you can still buy Casta with my link on bybit in the pinned comment below and you still get a $4,100 sign up bonus if you use my link so definitely check this out also on Femex you get still a bonus if you use my link so I just gave you a really really nice trade call here on uh, based on the four hourly chart uh, four thousand uh, forty two thousand four hundred fifty dollars all the way up to forty four thousand dollars there is a trade that you can take I will also show you quick how much that would be in percentage approximately so um, yeah with a 10x that would be 35 percent almost 36 with a 20x it would be 71 percent which is obviously amazing profits here in a short amount of time I would say um, that can take just a couple of hours to to play out guys that's it already for today i will not talk about other coins today because it makes no sense why the bitcoin price is here uh, still um really undecisive and the whole market is kind of shaky so it doesn't really make sense to talk about a lot of other coins here uh, i hope you enjoyed this episode let me know uh which coins i should talk tomorrow about so the the most upvoted coin will be included in tomorrow's video so leave a comment and also a like to let me know so other than that smash up the like button click the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i will see you tomorrow